Hey everyone, welcome to another Rock for Q video and another frame in mine and my next door neighbour, who's called Sai, epic best of 35 frame. And just for those of you who are new to the channel and might be watching this kind of video for the first time, um, this is frame, I don't know, 20, uh, frame 23, so maybe you might want to go back a little bit if this is one, is one of these, the first thing you're watching. But basically, me and my neighbour play snooker on a fairly regular basis, uh, normally sort of four or five frames with a couple of drinks. And at the start of the summer, we had a bit of a conversation about um, how we might make it more interesting and more um, competitive, but still friendly. And that was maybe, and the idea was to do a long best of 35 match. Uh, so we had this conversation just after the World Championship final. Uh, and sort of have their, like, just have bragging rights for the rest of the year and where we want it. Um, and yeah, figured it was a good idea. It might be good sort of series for the channel. Maybe didn't quite understand exactly how long it was going to take, given how busy both my, me and Si have been over the summer. So we haven't been able to play every week like we thought we might, um, with a few exceptions. Um, but uh, yeah, we're getting towards the business end now. And as I say, I've got this frame, another frame for this session, and then another four frames uh, in the can, essentially, to show you. So I'm gonna try and put these out relatively frequently over the next few weeks. Ooh, that was a bit of a chip shot. Um, it wasn't a foul, though, because I didn't, uh, I hit the white, uh, red before it went over the, uh, the top of it. Um, yeah, so hopefully, expect a few of these over the next couple of weeks, probably two this week, maybe two next week. Uh, or maybe three next week, we'll see how it goes. Because I've got a couple of other videos I want to show, as, uh, a couple of other matches I want to show as well. So I don't want to flood you with uh, with matches when there's actually quite a bit of snooker on the, like pro snooker on the TV at the moment as well. Uh, right, so si has got this tricky little cutback, uh, but he missed it, but the white was always going to go up to the top of the table and he's managed to get cover on that red. Oh, no, he hasn't. I thought he got cover with the green on that red, but. Uh, now I can see it quite close to the ball climb. But nevertheless, I don't pot it, which, uh, which is a shame. I can't even blame the fact that I haven't warmed up yet, because this is the third frame of this session. So we've already played for probably about an hour and a half, if not, well, maybe not quite an hour and a half. But uh, certainly over an hour, including our usual sort of friendly warm up. Uh, nice control for Sai. Just the wrong side of the blue, but he can power this blue in maybe and get down the table, but he might also just try and take the points and uh, look for a safety shot. Yeah, I think that's what he's done. It was always going to be tricky to avoid the bolt colours. So. Size in the market for a new queue as well, so um, he's not really thought about it too hard of exactly what he wants this match. But, but um, let me know in the comments what uh, queue you you know what queue brands you you recommend. And obviously, um, we're not pro snooker players. Or size, um, you know, even that regular snooker player. Although he is on my he is in my league within the league, so um, he does play a little bit. So you know. If you suggest John Paris, it's probably not going to be a John Paris queue, put it that way. Um, anyway, so he's taken a bit of a lead here, and uh, he's got this pink into the corner. Uh, he's just having to think about it, whether he wants to take this or not, or whether he wants to play a safety shot and sleep here, but I think the pink has really got to be the shot, It'll be a bit, a bit positive and try and get this pink in, and he'll be on a red, but obviously if he misses it, then he might be leaving me a lot of reds. Uh, I see he has, but he may have got away with this because, well, he's not got away with it, but he, there wasn't a red actually that went into the corner, and I really did not commit to that. That was pretty poor, to be honest. Uh, safety shot from side, but is he fluked one? Not quite. He's got a very, very good white. It's right under the bolt cushion. Can I get past the green for this one near the corner pocket? Oh, I, I tried to use the big pocket, yeah, and uh, I think that was probably the only place I could have hit it, and it didn't go in. So <laughs> that's pretty disappointing. Uh, so I certainly powered that in from a pretty narrow angle, and he's got nicely on the blue. 
just slightly the wrong side of the blue, but now the yellow's off his spot, he might be tempted to come on off the ball cushion. So let's see. He's got certainly playing with a bit of top. He needs to power through this, and that's what he tried. And actually, it was a pretty good attempt. Um, obviously, the blue didn't go in, but the cue ball was definitely rolling in the right direction. So a bit more power, and, and obviously getting the blue in. I think he might have got it. Uh, so just a safe shot from me, just won't want the cue ball to go in this corner pocket, which it hasn't, thankfully. Um, so I did tap on the table there, but I cut it out. And, yeah, it gets just a bit too close to the corner pocket there, which sort of kills all the speed on the cue ball. Uh, but still, nothing easy here. I mean, this, this red will go, but... Um, I mean, I could have maybe got on pink, but uh, it was tough. But now there's a red at the bark end, and well, there's this red here as well, which just so manages to sneak in past the near jaw. So it's been a while since I've uh, potted any balls, really, um, which is rather disappointing. And it's a good blue. Well, blue's back on its spot at least. Uh, black is tied up, it doesn't go into. Well, it's not potable really into any corner pockets without moving it. Uh, with any out of any pockets without moving it, certainly not into the corner pockets. Pink is on, I think. We'll go past that red. And actually, size just moved it out into the middle of the table, so that's now on. So, trying this cut back, trying to go up for the blue, but still. Well, I hit that far too hard and also didn't get the direction right. So, struggling a bit here at the start of this frame. But I think we both are, to be fair. And this has just rolled a bit awkward, so I'm just going to leave it. It's pretty safe where it is, so I'm just going to try this longer red. It's just awkward bridging. And I think I did try and play a pot there, and uh, yeah, just the awkward bridging. So not the highest of quality uh, snooker for me, which is uh, you know, not unusual if you're a regular viewer. Uh, nice cutback. Oh, I thought that was in from the, from the footage. Uh, it's got a good right though, so just a safety shot for me, trying to screw off this red, or I'll just actually hit it thin and get uh, get it down the other end of the table, but keep behind the block colours, which I've kind of done, but I've left this side, uh, side this one to the middle. Uh, but it's not quite there, and he's just nudged a red off the cushion and stuck it up for me, so I really, really need to take this, and I really need to get out of here. Well, I've overhit it for the pink which is not surprising really when I haven't had much in terms of potting and um, but this blue I believe is pretty straight and uh, should be able to uh, hold I'm not sure what reds go though if that sort of bunch of five near the or if any of those reds the bunch of five near the, uh, in the pocket so I ended up just going a little bit forward looking to play the red that's highest on the table uh, but obviously it's a rest shot. But should be able to stun off it, uh, maybe with a bit of screw and... Oh no, I'm not playing it, I've decided against that. That's really disappointing really, I should, I should be playing that shot. It's a bad shot choice, because there wasn't really much else on. So if I'd missed it, I think Sai would have struggled to get a pot anyway. But it's a decent safety shot, so maybe it's not too bad. Maybe anyway, I'm just struggling with confidence there because I haven't potted anything in a while. And so I just pushed the red over the corner, but it's covered well with all the red bunched around the pocket. So, oh no, I could get through to it. Well, if I could get through to it, maybe I couldn't get through to the potting angle, but I don't think I would have played it if I couldn't. So, so I goes to the double, play four and got. He holds his hand up, but he said, I mean, I, I can't see what else he would have been playing, playing it like that, so um, he didn't need to put his hand up for that. Uh, green doesn't go in there. Or does it? Well, that one definitely. <laughs> yeah, the, red, the red is one thing, but that one's definitely a flea. But, uh, at least he's not plum on the next red, so it's uh, probably. Well, barring a very good, another good shot, it's probably end of break. Oh, nearly gets it in, to be fair. It's 
So just a safety from me. Bit of left hand side, maybe try and get behind the green. No, not quite. Oh, Simon gets that in. A couple of friendly kisses off the red and the pink gets him right on the ball court, uh, cushion and behind the uh, yellow. And um, yeah, just a dump shot from me, I think. Oh no, I try and go for the pot. Well, kind of felt I was forced into that, I think, because uh, of those. Uh, uh, those kisses putting me behind the yellow, so maybe a bit of frustration keeping creeping in there. So I was struggling to get over for this though, maybe should have got the one out. He gets it in. He's nicer than pink actually, and shouldn't be no bother to hold for the red into the left corner, or even just to stun slightly lower for the, the red into the right corner. You've got a choice actually here, what, what you've got, um, of what you can do. Leaving the red to the middle if he fancies it. Spin back, the red to the middle, but I think the easier shot is slight stun. Run through for the red to the right corner. Oh. He's run through. He's fine. I mean, he's got uh, this cut back. Yeah, he probably should have played that with a little bit of stun. Now, can he cut this in and either get up for a bot colour or blue or hold for the feed? Well, he's hit it quite hard, so he's obviously going for bought colours, so he's played pretty well. So what green is on. Playing this with top, so he's wanting to come off the angles and back out again. Well, gets the pot in nicely. Cue ball kind of jumps when it hits the green, so that's why it lost a lot of its spin around. So a bit of a shot to nothing here maybe, you can attempt the pot and maybe get round. Uh, just played it to the cushion, that's fair enough. So thin one for me off the, onto the cushion, didn't play it thin enough. Should have been thinner than that to try and get the red back on the, ball, uh, on the cushion. But um, yeah, poor shot really. Now then, what do I do here? Just gonna try the longer red. I don't really get anywhere near it, but play it with a bit of safety in mind, which again is a bit negative, but confidence is pretty low at the moment, so not really committing to my pots. Trying to play with a bit of safety in mind. Good thin safety shot from Sai here. Just a bit unlucky to catch the brown. I should say this session was filmed about a month ago, I think, maybe slightly more, so it's not a fair reflection of exactly where we are at the moment in terms of our capabilities. Oh, how did that why not go in? It's left it very awkward for me right on the nook of this pocket. And I actually ended up hitting that a lot thinner than I, I wanted. And well, it's gone all the way back down the table again, and sai has got this red to the left corner, which is duly net. So I really could do with one of these, a few of these awkward reds, or I don't know, some snookers really. But it's missed the pink, but there's no other reds really on, so I guess I could try the double in the middle with safety in mind, and that's what I do. Uh, no. Got brown. Brown will take me back towards the reds. Green, I think, is possibly the easier pot, but it is slightly low, so I'll have, I'll just be in the box, stay in the box. I have to take the yellow, which is the easier pot, and still, but only two points. <coughs> and yeah, so I need a safety shot here. So I'm just gonna try and come off this red just need to be trying to avoid the double kiss which i'm typically not very good at so and i'm just playing a dump shot well i push this red towards the middle so <coughs> could have done with pushing it a little bit further no. 
so I've missed it. <coughs> it's not left it, but this should be a relatively easy snooker opportunity, maybe. But I've put too much. I mean, that was. I mean, what was I thinking? I, I wouldn't say it's the wrong shot. It's just badly executed, very badly executed. Because I was trying to. I'm pretty sure I was snoop, trying to snooker in behind the brown, but it just didn't do very well. But slides tries to snooker me behind the brown. He's only a couple of ball rolls away from doing that. And yeah, try the pot. Just not getting anywhere near my sort of long to medium pots in this uh, particular match. Uh, so this particular frame, sorry. Oh, so I just catch the yellow there. I think he said it did go, but it just caught the yellow, so. Uh, bit of a top hat double attempt, but uh, with safety in mind. But this red is rolling towards the corner pocket. And sort of holding my hand up there, saying, not holding my hand up, but the exasperation that everything I hit seems to turn to uh, a chance for Sai. So I think he's just rolled past the green enough for it to go in the middle, which it does. Uh, but he's missed it. He's got a nice friendly kiss on the blue to leave me out on the bought cushion again. Uh, so just a safety shot. Pretty happy with that from where I was. Tap on the table from Sai. But the red has gone close to the corner pocket. I mean, it's not very close, but it's a, like a foot away or something. Like but Sai doesn't even try the pot, he just plays the safety. But the red has come up the table. And it's gone a little bit close to that corner pocket. And I should be able to get over this because I'm right-handed. And the blue's there, so don't hit this hard. Oh, just about goes in. And just about stops in time to be able to get on the blue. Uh, and not be behind the brown in terms of putting the blue. So I'm trying to get to these two reds. Yeah, it didn't quite have the angle. I was going to say, if it was a big ball, maybe some side on it. And, yeah, so, what can I do here? Need to hit this, probably hit this one next to the black bin and try and get back up to the table. Just need to be careful that I get my cue out of the way because the cue, the ball's, cue ball's going to come back towards me with this... Um, the rest and the extension on and also need to make sure I don't accidentally plant the black in. Hopefully I won't hit it hard enough to that be an issue. Well it's not as it's planned but it's it's, it's worked out okay. <laughs> Except the the uh, left an easier safety shot attempt for Sai which he's done pretty well. So don't plant the black in. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Especially if it goes between brown and yellow. Yeah, I wasn't specifically playing for a sneaker. I couldn't get a sneaker actually because you can get through the gap. Yeah. Well, that red's safe, but this red is potable. Cue ball on the cushion though. And. I'm pretty sure that was a pot attempt, but that was absolutely awful. Cued across that. This is, I don't remember playing this bad in this frame, but it seems to be playing absolutely horrendously. Alright, safety shot here. Can I get behind the pink or the yellow? That's what I was trying. I think I've got it. <coughs> a little bit of help from the green in stopping the red though, but oh, so I just slipped past the back of the red. So useful points for me. Now what do I do here? Do I make him play again? I do. Plus the keyboard's close to the fork cushion. Uh, he plays it pretty well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Should be able to try and cut this red in. Cue ball will be automatically coming back towards me. And well, it's only got the middle pocket. Slightly fortuitous double contact with the jaws of the middle pocket. And lucky I didn't put the, the black in. So, I'll cue for Sai. Manages to get 
over it quite nicely and it gets relatively high. I mean, it's, it's above the blue spot just, but uh, this red is possible. It's just a bit awkward. I mean, uh, if the pink wasn't there, I could have been able to reach this without the rest, but I was unfortunately going to foul the pink with my uh, with my overweightness. Um, so I had to play this with, with the rest. Yeah, again, absolutely no one here. But got away with it. <coughs> Having some pretty good fortune in this frame, so I feel like I've got a chance just because uh, size luck has deserted him and mine seems to have come back. But my certainly my queuing has not come back. Well, he says that, he manages to key that one all right from the cushion. Now, can I cut this brown in and head back down towards the red? Sort of anywhere south of the pink spot with the cue ball would be fine. As long as I'm not dead straight on the red, obviously. But I just caught the pink. Should have hit that harder with a bit more screw, I think. But probably would have missed the brown in doing that. Still, I've got a shot of this red. It's not easy. But um, again, as long as I favour overcutting it, the cue ball will head back to bark. And hopefully the, white will run, uh, the red will run along the cushion. But I didn't need to do that because I cut it in. Nice little kiss on the blue. Well, I'm the wrong side of the blue for the yellow, but the colours aren't on the spot, so could cut this blue in but no I'm going to go for the yellow again just need to watch I don't foul this green yeah, I'm not happy because I think I'm going to foul the green so I'm having to get the rest out again need to get a better wrist action with my rest here just I'm using too much of my arm and I'm very lucky not to green off there because I'm miles away from putting that just not delivering the key stroke, even slightly with the rest. I mean, I know I don't do it often with the normal queuing, but I'm absolutely off with the rest. But I need to work on a bit more of a wrist motion rather than my whole arm moving around my elbow. Just about cut that in. Get a nice little kiss on the green, although it has put it on the cushion, but it's probably better than it where it was. <clears throat> so can I put this in, come off the cushion and get somewhere towards the brown? And hopefully if I miss the green stays down here. If I don't miss, then I've actually hit it a bit too hard. Uh, so what we're going to do here, safety, brown on the top cushion. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try and cut this into the middle. Ooh, I'm nearly going off trying to cut that into the top right corner, I think. Uh, get away with that. So um, I'm in the lead after being behind pretty much the whole frame. And uh, size made a mistake there. Uh, so here's a chance if I can get on the blue. Obviously, the pink is there for the taking as well. But I was dead straight on the brown. Pretty much dead straight anyway, so I couldn't really do much. I should have screwed back though. Uh, I thought I had enough angle to stun across because the blue will pass past the pink, but um, should have screwed back in there. Anyway, just to playing a safety shot. Uh, blue goes up towards the corner pocket though. I think it's close enough to the cushion for it to not be straightforward. Yeah. Now, kiss on the pink, blue's going to go towards the middle. So just blue and pink required. There's the blue. Just didn't commit to that. I mean, I mean, I'm needing to get better on this pink to give myself a chance of putting it. Um, you know, that was uh, pretty poor. And again, I'm nearly going off, and I leave this as a chance for Sai. This is cuttable. Oh, 
Buddy's gone in off and he's conceded the front. Oh no, he hasn't conceded the front. He's quite conceded the front. Uh, but Siders now need a snooker. A couple of snookers actually, maybe. Well. Well, he's messed up that anyway, and uh, yeah, just making sure of the thing. And that's the end of that frame. Very local performance from both of us, I think, but uh, I'm just glad to come through that one and get another one on the board. So, one more frame left in this session. Let's, uh, I'll see you in a few days to find out.